Assalamu alaikum everyone Welcome back to my channel A lot of people were asking for a Lexus LC So here I'm back in New York and I'm reviewing this beauty So let's start the full in-depth review of the 2021 Lexus LC 500 So the Lexus LC, what is this car? This is the most expensive Lexus car you can get now so what is the Lexus coupes and all those? So let me explain that to you guys. So there's two coupes from Lexus, the RC and the LC. The RC's full form is racing coupe and the LC's full form is luxury coupe. This is for more like a grand tourer. That's like a proper race car. But it, to be honest, this one looks better to me. And I'm doing a full in-depth review of this. This car was first introduced at 2016 at the North American Motor Show and from then, this car hasn't been that successful but after this car got discontinued at 2022 for a new generation or a facelift now the price are going up and up and up great looking car and this is one of the cars that are very identical to its concept so first of all i'm going to show you the front face of the car so let's get started so the car's width is 75.6 inches now i'm going to show you these led lights the lights on these cars are so beautiful and futuristic. This is your daytime running lights that connect to the main headlight. I'm going to get inside, turn these on right now. So here we go. Just press this button and open. So, if you come to the lights, this is your daytime running lights that look amazing, that are connected to these three eagle lights that are decently powerful. And this is your hazards. There's a vent here that is actually functional and it has four sensors at the front. The headlight design of this car is wonderful, to be honest, because I really, really like it. As you can see here, and it says Lexus on the top. Now, if we come to the full front fascia of it, the Lexus LC is the luxury coupe, so that's why it has a lot of chrome on it and more, less aggressive and more luxury. So this is the all new Lexus grille for this car that is fully big and curved out. You have the Lexus logo at the center and that's pretty much it. It looks fantastic and it is one of my favorite Lexus vehicles. Now let's check out what is powering the Lexus LC 500. So now I'm going to get inside, open the hood of the car. And there we go. Now for opening the hood, there's just a slider here. If we just do this, and the hydraulic struts are going to open the hood. Hydraulic struts are a mandatory feature of this car because this is a premium level luxury coupe. So the engine, you can get two variants, the LC500 and the LC500H. This is the LC500. It has a five liter naturally aspirated V8 with 32 uh, valves on these engines and it is a wonderful engine from Toyota or Lexus it has the power it has the sound and it has the v8ness it has 471 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque if you guys come a little closer the full engine is covered for more premiumness you have the Lexus logo here and each side four cylinders and carbon fiber treatment here you have the engine oil pour distribution here so you pour the engine oil these are your brackets that are holding the engine so it can fully redline every time and it has openers here for air that goes into the engine that's pretty much it you have insulation too now i'm going to close the hood of the car so there and there and if you guys look at the hood design why is it like this so the car gets more aerodynamic and this is one of the cars that are most aerodynamic from lexus now let's check out the car's side profile. So the length of this car is 187.6 inches. Now I'm going to show you the wheels of the car. So the wheels are in two-tone color, chrome and black, and these look amazing. You have the Lexus logo at the center. And if you look at the wheel size of the wheels, these are 245 40R21s. You have six piston brakes at the front and the calipers are ventilated. If we come up, it has adaptive suspension and because it's an American vehicle, it has the side mandatory reflector that all the American vehicles get. Side is very aerodynamic. It has this full side skirt 
that make the car look more lowered. And then the ground clearance of this car is 5.2 inches. It has this big opening here that is actually functional. It gets air in and air out. So the door is actually squished inside. And if you come to the fins, you have the vortex generator here for aerodynamics and the mirror down part is red, chrome at the center and black at the top. And, and then if you come here, before the mirror were here, but now it's on the door for more aerodynamics of the car. And the side trims are in black, so it looks more nicer. And the door handles are actually like really cool. When you unlock the car, it comes out, it has the Lexus badge here. And this is for opening the door. And because it's a coupe, it has frameless door too. And this is for holding it. Close it, lock the car, it goes in. And if you come down, I forgot to show you the wheelbase. The wheelbase of this car is 113 inches. It has a full black roof, but it actually has a sunroof that is fixed, but you can't see it because the cover is closed right now. You have chrome trimmings on the top. You have the side window for more visibility. And if we go to the rear wheels, it's a rear wheel drive car, so the rear wheels are more wider. These are 275, 35R21s with four piston calipers that are ventilated. Rear wheel drive it as the LSD2, a limited slip differential. Now, if we show you the fuel tank, we have to unlock the vehicle, press here press here nope we have to open it from the inside like original lexus or toyota vehicles so press this button and then if you push it it opens the lock and there it comes out and it has a 90 liter fuel tank and because it's a 5 liter v8 it drinks up a lot of fuel and if you come to the back you have this chrome trimmings too with the side reflector that is mandatory for new york or america and this side aggressive bumper now let's check out the rear of the car so the height of this car is 53 inches. Now I'm going to show you the key because I forgot. You have the Lexus logo with leather wrapping, metal finish. You have lock, unlock, boot opening and panic button and Lexus written here. Now I'm going to get inside and turn on these rear lights. So the rear lights are fully LED, you could see the lines and it is a 3D design light and the hazard is down here. Chrome trimmings on the top and lines here for more luxuriness to be honest. And now if you come all the way here, you have the Lexus logo and LT500 written, you have the reversing camera up there, same on the other side, four sensors at the back. If you come down, you have four parking sensors, the number plate slot is here with two uh, we are towing hooks and reflectors and the diffuser is in chrome and black but the exhaust tips are actually real no fakery you have two on this side two on that side and that's going to be pretty much it for the rear of the car it has the upper stop brake light and the rear windshield is a little tiny but it is for the design of the vehicle now let's check out is this practical so for opening the boot if you just press this button on the rear tail light there it opens and it has hydraulic struts so you have 257 liters of storage here if you guys come a little closer you have the first aid kit with lexus branding and because it has a good weight distribution the rear battery of the car is actually at the back at the positive right there and it has decent amount of room for a grand tourer and now let's close the boot and let's show you the interior so let's get inside now so for opening the front seat we have to just get at this and then it automatically goes forward and then I have to squeeze in because this is a grand tour. it has to be a four people can sit so there and let's get the front seat back and to be honest it is adjusting because it knows that it's hitting my knees and my see it went front so seats are comfortable you have a center armrest here so we're putting your hand you have your subwoofer here from Mark Levinson then you have leather Tara, Isofix anchor points and the speakers are at the side. You can also put your hand on the side and it is very luxury with the Arcantara headliner too. I'm, I'm going to get in the front. Let's get the seat back and it's automatically going to go. And here we are in the front. So let's start with the dash of the car. 
First of all, you have an AC vent here, it says Osiris airbag here, with this nice treatment inside with the Lexus clock. You have the AC vents up here, great designing, and this tan leather interior, press this button, your lockable glove box opens with a little less storage as usual, and this is for closing or locking the glove box. The seats are Arcantara and leathered, and these are full bucket seats, but powered. Now if we come to the center and then you have a little handrest for using the touchpad system and the shortcut buttons of the touchpad systems are here this is for volume skipping track and this is for the tunes this is for media and radio shortcut buttons and you have a big handle here for the passenger can hold on now let's show you the infotainment system let's put on the brake pressing the start button there the car turns on and it says starting so this is the lexus clock that is for the seatbelt monitor of the car i'm gonna get the ac up it says Lexus and then your warnings, so continue. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you go on, it's on navigation now. So you could see we're on a great location. And then you could see audio, audio is off. And this is for consumption, like trip information of the car and the history and everything is here. And then it's the climate menu. So you could control it from here. And for the main menu, you could just press this and here are everything like the climate and I want the navigation here so there for example and for the seat controls I just press this and I can turn on my ventilated seats and the passenger ventilated seats and heated seats and heating steering wheel and if we go on this you can see all of the automatic controls menu and here we go back to navigation putting this back to audio and then if you put it on reverse you could see the reversing camera there and if you want adaptive guidelines you could press this and if you don't want you could just turn it off that's going to be pretty much it for the infotainment you have an AC vent here with a hazard light here this is for auto this is for off this is for getting the temperature up or down same on this side and this is for where you want the air and the wind speed everything's digital and analog you have the CD in here, Mark Levinson written. Press this, you have a cup holder. And that's going to be pretty much it. The gear knob is very complicated. So for drive, you have to this, this. It's in drive. For neutral, just press like this. And it goes to reverse. And for neutral, is this. Then for manual, if you just do this and use these paddle shifters. I'm going to put it back to park. And you have a brake hold feature too. And it's also in tan. You have the parking brake of the car inside here and this is a start button. Mm -hmm. If you go up, this is your rear view mirror that's auto dimmed. You have your light controls here and this is for the door lights and it has vanity mirrors on either side too. And you can see the microphones here and it has the sunroof blind that's manually adjustable but you can see the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it open. Then the steering wheel. So the driving position is very sporty. You have the full tan leather interior steering wheel that is powerly adjustable, tilt and telescopic. There you can see. So I'm going to make it adjustment as mine. And you can see all your cruise control features. This is for controlling that screen too. This is for your safety systems and the mode for the AC. These are for that screen and volume and voice command. And paddle shifters are at the back. This is for your headlight and windshield wiper controls. This is for your windshield wiper controls. Now, let's show you the instrument cluster but before that this is actually for the drive mode that is for the traction control or snow mode now let's show you the instrument cluster put on the brake pressing the start button it does a nice animation and there it comes on it's the rc is at the center not the rc the lc so you have your engine oil temperature here that all the way goes up the outside temperature this is for the fuel, this is the engine temperature, this is the time. These are your safety systems on or off, this is for the parking brake. And this is your RPM, it redlines at 7000. You have the mile per hour here and the gears, and this is for the driving modes. So if I put it on Sport, there, and this is Sport Plus. This is for normal, and this is comfort. I'm going to leave it on Sport Plus, because it looks the best. And this is for the traction button, if you press and hold it for some time, you can see traction control off and you could also turn it back on and this is for snow mode or snow mode off that's pretty much it for the in instrument cluster but if you want more information 
to the slide and then you can see all of the information here like navigation, audio, vehicle safety and warnings. Now if I want to slide back at the center and drive this car. Now let's show you the door but before that I have to show you the heads up display too. So if I just start up the car, the heads up display does a nice animation and turn on as you can see there. And then you could see your navigation, gears, and the kilometer or mile per hour. You can put it on drive or sports mode. Change nothing. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Now let's show you the door. First of all, you have a Twitter here. Then you can see the AC vent here that can be closed and open. This is the air that goes for defogging the windows to the door from here and comes out from the window. Now if you come back here, this is for the brightness for the RPM, then that's for trip zero, that's for opening the boot, heads up display controller and opening the fuel tank, this is for opening the hood, dead pedal, brake pedal and gas pedals here, you have Lexus branding here and your seat controls are here. Now if you go to the door, first of all you have this sword looking door handle with Arcantara all the way here and metallic finish too, it has the side reflector and storage space here, lock and unlock and window openers and window controls and three memory seats. So that's pretty much it for the video. So thank you so much to my uncle Anwar Ahmed for providing this card to me. And if you guys like my reviews, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm back in New York. So if you want to see where I travel and all those, you can contact with my Insta. I'm going to leave it at the description. And yeah, this is a crazy city. Now I'm going to go and take the car out.